Today we have some of Isabel's grapefruit, and I want to make a salad I saw when I was traveling through Italy, and I just fell in love with the salad. It's very fresh and very different, and it really brings out the great flavors of the grapefruit in a different way that you wouldn't expect. Grapefruit, olive oil, red onion, and a little fresh mint. But first, let me show you how to peel down a grapefruit to get all the pith out of it and focus on the fruit inside. So what you want to do is start out by cutting off the top and the bottom to expose the grapefruit. So once they're cut down, you want to start here and just kind of take the knife and curve around the skin, right under the white parts, so that what you're left with is just the fruit. These are beautiful grapefruit. And you just kind of let your knife go back and forth very slowly and take it all that out. It seems so odd, you know, to put grapefruit with onions, but uh, the combination really works. It's great. So there's two ways to do this. Straight down, not too thin. And then you can just pop the seeds out as you go. So then we just lay it on the plate like this. Now another way that you can cut these, just kind of go in between the lines, turn your knife up and it comes right out. So you have no white, no pith, no seeds, especially for uh, picky kids who don't like the white stuff on citrus. <laughs> this is a really good way to get them to eat it. My son is four years old and he loves these things. You know, obviously you can get grapefruit year round, but when you eat it in season and it's fresh, you know, it's not overly watery and breaking apart. And look, you can see all the little succulent little filaments inside. And it's not really tart like grapefruit can be. There's a lot of sweetness to this. We take the onion, the standard red onion. Uh, if, you're, if you're at your farmer's market and you see those little torpedo long green top red onions, this would be a really good time to use those. So we're just gonna cut the skin off of these. Cut it in half so that we can get these really thin. This is really key to this dish because we don't want the onion to overpower the grapefruit. We just want enough to give it a little contrast. If you have a slicer or a mandolin that can cut thin, then this would be the time to use it. I know not everybody can slice this thin. And we're just gonna sprinkle it on top of the grapefruit and just a little sprinkling of sea salt on here. And then I have some fresh mint from my garden that we're just gonna tear in little pieces and put on top. You wanna keep all the different components in balance so that each time somebody goes to get a bite, they'll have some mint and onion and grapefruit with each bite and not too much of one or the other. And then some nice olive oil, good extra virgin, and just kinda gently pour it. And voila, there you go. Grapefruit, onion, and mint salad. It's really amazing how all that works together.